Hey guys, welcome back to another sort of George Garage with me, Julian, 66 New Yorker, Miss Daisy. I want to clean out the scuttle area and also grease up the wiper mechanism. If you've never done it before, I'll show you how to do it. Here we go. Right, next job, what I want to do, I want to take off the scuttle panel so that we can get down and clear out the valleys down here. We can also take out the wiper mechanism and we can uh, grease up like the spindles, etc. Uh, so that that's going to be working nice and smooth. Right, let's crack on with that. Here we go. Right, first job, what we got to do is take off the wipers. Now, can you see that little silver clip just in front of my finger there? Okay, what you've got to do is you've got to hook that this way and then the wiper will just pop off so that's what you've got to do first is hook that up because there's a little groove in there that it sits in so that the wiper doesn't come off all right so first things first obviously put a cloth down to protect your paintwork and your trim etc want a screwdriver underneath to move that clip out of the way and hopefully another screwdriver here she goes look at that there you go. One screwdriver against the tubber. There she goes. There she is. Lovely. Right, let's just go and do the other one. And that's that side done as well. I was just looking at these uh, wiper blades. Don't look too bad, do they? I think they'll go again. What do you reckon? Plenty of life left in there. Come on. That'd be all right. All right, I'll replace them. No worries. Just thought, you know. Right, now what we got to do is take off these little chrome bits here. Now, they are just held in with three little feet, okay, and they will just pop out, okay? What it is, where this tray is here, okay, underneath that is a hole. And you need that hole there to be able to get the scuttle over the wiper mechanism. So if you leave that in, it is going to be an absolute nightmare to get this away from that. So if you've got any picks, try them to hook them out. Let's see how we get on. Should work. There we go. just there's about three feet on it there she goes there it is there's the hole can you see that there's your three feet and that's how it goes so obviously top one in first and then the two sides sort with George and there's your big hole up Right, let's just go and do the other side and then we can start on the trim. Right, that's both of them done. And like I say, you can see how big that hole is now. See, if they didn't cover that up, that would be quite ugly, wouldn't it? Right, next, you've got to take off this trim. Now, to start with, what we've got to do is go inside the door shut and take out that little screw there because you've got a little piece of trim here that holds this end down so you've got to take that off first both sides right that's the screw out now this bit of trim clip thing here like i say it runs parallel you can see that bit there on top goes in to that piece and holds that end down if it doesn't come out because this one's been a nightmare and it doesn't want to come out if it don't come out doesn't matter because obviously it will come out with the actual piece of trim. Right, now that that piece is out of the end here, I've got some plastic trim bit remover things like, you know, not to hopefully damage too much on the paintwork. So they'll go in and it looks like we've got a trim clip here. So I've got my pliers. You can sit on the rag. Once you get one up, there she goes, look at that. Didn't even have to use that. Yeah, right, now that's up. It's going to be nice and easy. Famous last words. 
Oh, there you go. There you go. And that is it. That's the trim out. Lovely. Right, and these are the trim clips. Like I say, they're like a crossed finger. And that's how they go in. They sort of close up on themselves and then spring back. And then this is the end where the screw is. Like I say, if it doesn't come out, it doesn't matter. Because there's quite a bit that grips the end of that bit of trim. Sort with George. Right, let's crack on. Right, next what you got is six Phillips screws on top and bottom. Okay, so you've got one there, one there, and then one there, and then the same on the other side. So there's one there, and then another two over there. Then what you've got is one there, there's another one, and then there's another one, and let's say, oh, there's another two over there, so it's five, not six, sorry. Um, once they're undone, that scuttle panel should just come off. Right, one of them looks like it's rusted out there, so I might be a while. Wish me luck. Okay, there we go. We've got all the screws out. Sort of George, that's that. All the way. And those five along there, that's out. Right, so now she should just lift out. Literally, here she goes. She's loose, but what you've got to do is obviously where you are uh, with the hood open, it's kind of like, hang on. It's sort of like you've got to have the hood a bit like that so that it can come out, but also it's not in the way and it's a pain in the bum. Right, let me get this out. I'll come back. This was easier on the 68 Palara. So much easier. Don't tell me I've got to take the hood out. Take the hood off. It's a joke. Really? When I said that was going to be easy. What did I do with that then, with the Palara? Oh, I guess I've got to take the hood off on this one, or at least undo it. Oh, that's a pain in the arse. Oh well. Well, it would appear what I'm going to have to do is uh, just move the hood. Uh, it looks like, because the last time I've done this was on a 68 Polara, my gold coupe. And this, it, it slid out lovely. So it looks like there's a problem around this area here with the back of the hood to the scuttle, which they must have done a design change to make it easier. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just slightly loosen the front bolt and I'm gonna remove the back bolt. That way then the hood can pivot down and I should be able to remove the scuttle. Right, let's crack on with that, here we go. I mean, when you come to put it back in again, you're going to have witness marks anyway, so. This hood's never been off. Never been off. I've just seen it release the paint here. There she goes. 
Let me get around that side. There you go. That's it. That's lovely. Sort with jewels. Now, obviously, you can see we've got plenty of room just to take out that skull. And there it is. Let's just go up the other end. I need both hands. There she be. Lovely. Just that little bit of clearance. That's all you need. Typical, isn't it? Right, I've just reset the hood, so that's sat down nicely. That can stay down out the way. This is what I want to do. I want to get out all this rubbish down in here. Uh, I'm very lucky with this car. She's not a rock box, but I don't want her to become a rock box. So, uh, whilst I've got the chance, I just as well clean it all out. And then what I can do is put some stone chip down there just to cover up of a slight rusty surface like the bit of surface rust there and while i'm at it what i should do is i should take out the spindles they're in with a 7 16 and that one there on the end of the wiper motor that is a half inch so i should take out the uh, the wiper mechanism uh, and then we can grease that up as well sort with george here we go <laughs> Look how clean she is. And this is 1966. Wow. I'm a happy bunny with that, I'll tell you. You come up there. Right, I've managed to get right the way down in there, all the way. I'm well pleased with that. That is one clean skull. That was about 25 minutes doing that. That's probably the cleanest it's been since it was first made. I've got right down in there, so that valley is nice and clear for any water to travel out. Right, sort with George. Now we've got to get on with the wiper mechanism. Here we go. <laughs> Scratch that for a bit. I've just been, uh, got a damp cloth and I wiped up the mould, right? The little green mould, whatever it was down here. This has got to be one of the cleanest scuttles that I have ever come across. Yeah, look, I've wiped all, bear in mind it was a dirty cloth, right? But look, dirt, and then obviously wipe with a dirty cloth. But look at it in there. That's fab. And that's factory. 
That is just unbelievable. That's fab. Is he going to pick it up on camera? It's worse. It's better on camera. It's worse in real life. But this lot here, you're not picking it up so much on camera, but that is absolutely filthy. Whereas this is clean. I know, don't look at it, but see if I can take you around the other side. Hang on. Look at this. It's only dirt. That is so clean in there. I tell you, it's unreal. There you go. And then you see where I've got up to. It'd be a shame to cover that up, you know. But I've got to do something with that. Because I don't want that going any further. I do not want this old girl becoming a rotten box. No way. I've got to do something with it, but... What a shame. That's unreal. Right, I'm going to carry on cleaning this first. Right, a couple of days later, and uh, we've done the stone chip down in the scuttle. That's come out really, really well. I'm chuffed with that. Got right the way down into the grooves. Sorry about the focus. Got right the way down in there. Don't ask me how I've done it, because it's top secret. But, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. Really chuffed, and it's come out really nice. I must admit, the colour match is really good, actually, considering it's stone chip. Because this isn't white, white, white. It's like a bit of an off-white, creamy white. So, right. Let's show you how I've done it. <laughs> it's quite simple, actually. What I've done, I took, obviously, the stone chip. And what I ended up doing was just take the top off. Just to see what kind of top we had. Okay. And, obviously, that's got a uh, nipple on the end to fit into the hole so i just went through my other cans to see if i had anything uh, that i could use with a straw and i got fluid film so what i done basically took that off that now is going to fit in there so that fits in there lovely and i just took the straw off put the straw in the hole and then obviously i was able to guide the little straw down into the crevices right let's get on with these that's a little bit on the old uh, crusty side underneath there but uh, at least these actually do uh, rotate so they just want a bit of a grease up just to uh, just to get them going again that one's better than what the other one is so all you got to do is release that little clip pull that up it will come over the top and then that arm will come away from there and the same thing going on that side uh, and the same thing going on that side. That's all you've got to do. And then that will obviously separate these four pieces. Right, let's, uh, let's crack on. Here we go. Right, let's just give this a bit of a WD-40 as you do. A little bit just to help. Come on. I'm running out on this can, isn't ya? Lovely. Right, now let's just give that, make sure it twists now. Yeah, there you go. Right, that's twisting. So that will come off, that's good. Right, so, lift you up and slide you out. There she goes. Lovely, there's one. Right, you're in a vice. You go out there, because you should just pop right up, shouldn't you? Right, you go around that side and you go around that side. How about that? There she goes. There she is. Lovely. Right, that's one side. Let's turn her over. And do the other side. Same again. Are you going to twist? Yes, you are. Good. Right. And up that with a little mini screwdriver. There you come. There she goes. 
there you come thank you right that one's got a washer and it's got an o-ring obviously that's perished but at least we know it was got to go so that now is going to come off oh there you go look at that nice and easy job jobbed so that's that apart and now for this side Same again, make sure you ain't rusted in there. Yeah, she is. Spin, come on. Yeah, there she goes. Right, if she's going to spin, then she's going to come out. You, up in the air, and you come out. Like so. And on this one, we've got another washer. But no O-ring, okay. Right, so I've just turned this around so that I can work on this. And where I put some penetrating fluid up top and down the bottom just a minute ago, she's actually spinning lovely. So it looks like we ain't got to do much to these apart from just give them a clean. So that's good. Well pleased with that. She's going round and round and round and round. Lovely. So with George, right. That's running lovely. Let's do the other one. And it would appear the same with this one. Just put on a little bit of the old miracle grow and away you go. Look at that. Nice bit of penetrating fluid, that's great. Bit of the old capillary attraction down the bottom there, that'll suck it up. Lush. Look at that. Considering that was well stiff. Brilliant. That's banging mush. Right. That's those two as free as a bird. They're going to run lovely. Right, let's just wire brush, tidy up all these joints here, and then I can grease them up and put them back together. Here we go. Right, I've given them a quick prime up, just so it's got a bit of primer on it, both sides on both of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint these with the white stone chip uh, that I've used, obviously, in the scuttle. That way then they won't show up through the scuttle bars. You know what I mean? That way then they're invisible, aren't they? Right, let me just paint these up and then we can put it all back together. Here we go. <laughs> right, hour and a half later, and she's done. I've painted it all up, nice and white, nice and clean, and everything is all greased up and we'll put back together correctly as you do down the bottom there up the top. That is full of grease, so everything's all done and ready to go back in. Cup of tea time, and then we'll put it back in. Here we go. Right, tea time's over. Let's get these in. Here we go. Right, you. Hopefully it will go in easier than it came out because everything is all nice and loose and greased up and everything else. So, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? There you go. Right, up you go. You go up there. Just for now. Go on, keep going. Keep going. In you go, there you go, look at that. Banging mush. Right, under you go. That's it, in you go, there you go. Right, now you can twist back. Right, there you go, that's better. Right, now we're ready. Right, you get on there. 
let me just put that and that on if I can get it in there go on in you go there you go that's better that's it right there you go you went that's better right that's how you were that's how you stopped let's get you up in here yeah i'm going to take that nut off again in a minute because i forgot to put copper rees on it but i've just put copper rees on these two right that's in That's in. Lovely. You're in and you are in as well. Lovely. That's that one. And that's that one. Right. Let me just take this nut back off. So that I can put some copper ease on the threads. That's what I should have done. Nice big scoop. That's on there. Lovely. And you can go back on there. That ain't coming off of there. Right, now we're going to try it out. Right, I believe this has got a park on it. So obviously I want to make sure that it works and everything's fine. But also I want to make sure that that goes back in reverse and that these park up properly. Right, so ignition on, turn her on. Right, so far so good. And then... Let's go in the park, shall we? Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that one more time. Yeah, they've gone in the park. That's brilliant. Sorted, George. Done. Right, sorted, George. So it is all done. Everything's all back together. And ignition on. And we'll wipe those. Here we go. Lovely. These are a variable speed. I thought these were like a three speed, but they're not. You just twist the knob. And the more you twist it, the faster she goes. There you go. Off and back down into park. Lovely. Right, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope this video has helped you out. If you ever need to take out your wiper mechanism or remove the scuttle panel on your 66 New Yorker. Uh, like, share, hit the subscribe button as well if you wouldn't mind. I'd appreciate it because it will help this channel grow. Uh, and a big thank you to those that have already subscribed. Nip over and check out Chris over at Sweet Machine, my mate over there. He's got some good stuff going on. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. It's Sort of George Garage. Banging.